Hello again, Ian Silky with Mastermind Games, back with more uh, scorn from Hordes. This time, Cataphract Arcuri, ranged troops with a harpoon, and currently Weapon Master on both the ranged and melee attacks with drag, which is nice. So I'm going to do something a little different compared to my other uh, unit and squad videos, and just do one model and hit the rest off camera. Though, with that said, It'll save you time in the long run if you paint um, all the models of a unit simultaneously. So I'm going to try the same skin tone I did on uh, Zakar, Rosy Shadow, 09067. What's kind of funny about the leader model that's in my hand here is the helmet is actually a separate piece from the head. That's kind of different. Okay, I need to... I need an appropriate brush. I've been using them for forever. I'm beat up enough. I don't know if I can use them for much longer. But just get that in his face there. And his fingers. So all the calf wrapped are the heavy infantry of score, and there's more than one type. We spend hours on end standing up, standing in the blazing sun of the deserts of eastern Imran training. Okay, now Dark Elf skin 09164, and we'll do the cloth, and then I'll uh, apply the rest to the or apply these to the rest of the troops off camera. See how this works out. And I've already seen one problem here, and that is that there's some air bubbles forming near the. What was that? That was my phone with a text. We'll see what it is later. It's not important right now. Yeah. I know nearly everybody's glued to their cell phones 24 7 these days, but um, you can afford to ignore it from time to time. In fact, that text, I'd say, is a high probability of being from the uh, car dealership I took my car to for maintenance yesterday, so... And not much of the sleeve is visible. Okay, that's not one more bit of cloth I missed right here. Okay, that's good on that. So, go ahead and cut and apply this to the rest of the troops. All right, up, up, um, up next is Marine Teal 09077. Unfortunately, that call was not just the car dealer following up. My grandmother isn't doing very well, so I'm kind of a wreck right now, but uh, I want to get this done anyway. A 10 hour drive for me to see her, and I had to miss out on the last, most recent chance I had to see her because my boss snaked my vacation I put in for it. That I put in for it at my cousin's wedding over the summer because she wanted herself. So I've got that going on. So kind of a mess, but again, I just I don't want to do this. Got that a little thick right there. So I'm gonna do the whole all the plates in this teal right now and then pick out some stuff and later in gold and maybe other colors too. Finding out about this family tragedy stuff, exclusive. 
my dad exclusively does text messaging for this stuff now no he doesn't call it's just a text always a text the last two relatives i lost i found out via the same kind of impersonal text message that you'd expect to get from say a dentist confirming her appointment <sighs> Do some touch-ups on that once it's dried a bit, but that's that's good for now. I'll just give this treatment to the other five members of the unit and come back in a bit. All right, antique gold zero nine zero five zero. Okay, again, I'm just going to focus on the leader model and. Hit the rest of the squad off camera. Okay, and this brush is not suitable. It's too flexible. That's what I was afraid of. That's why I got another one handy just in case. So we'll brush that flexible is fine for certain details, but not for the, for lack of a better expression, grunt work like this. So let's see here. I do need to get some new brushes, I believe, because some of these are not in the best shape anymore which happens brushes will wear out over time it's not gonna worry about it. it's just one of those things that happens Satisfied with that, but let's go ahead and work on all the rest of it during this minute. Hmm. 
I'm kind of a flurry on the uh, plate there. It's French and origin, I believe, and it's actually supposed to be a spear tip or an abstracted one at any rate. Look at the disc portions of these elements. Moist, not overly wet. Yeah. Learning the uh, right balance of water, too paint for each step. It's one of those things that's difficult to explain. Okay, at this point, this is training us enough of a mess. I'll just go ahead and do the entire segment in the gold here. That will be okay. parts of the helmet. And the banner is kind of in there in a funny way. Wasn't much choice, really. Cat will be a different color. I suppose that's okay. So. Go ahead and call that good and apply this treatment to the rest of them. So back in a bit. Okay, next. Deep Red 09002. This weird uh, feedback noise. Uh, really windy out right now. Let's 
pretty much it for this color, just the belt there. But I'll go ahead and how do I want to do this? Hmm, how about like this? Zero nine one nine seven old bonds. And for their primary weapon, the Arcus. We'll do two colors. We'll do this portion in bronze for the mechanism. This is a crossbow-like weapon. Shoots a harpoon, or rather it's got a crossbow-like mechanism. I should uh, say that's a little more accurate. That day, harpoon. And reel them in. Okay, that's not bad. So, uh, let's do these barbs and bronze as well. Looks like these are supposed to be articulated, which actually makes sense because it would go in straight, and then as he pulls back, the barbs would uh, pull or extend out. Okay, so I'm not sure what these are supposed to be, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do them as tassels in the in the uh, deep red. So and there's a couple on the back. I'll call those tassels too, next to the banner. All right, pull that good and get the rest of the squad while that dries. Okay, last base coat, tarnished steel, 09206. Alright, so after that last take, I uh, went back into the second section and put back some of the turquoise, essentially filling that in as a wash. Right now, I'm just going to finish up getting the chain and the main blade of the harpoon and all the spiky bits. feeling all that well right this minute. Might be coming down with something. Shrunken like capital on the banner. Does it look okay? Okay, that gets base coat, so finish up on the rest of them and then I can start shading. Okay, red bricks are 9001. So unfortunately, I have caught a cold. I'm not. That's held me back the last couple of days. So um, not in the best shape right now. It's only now after an entire day spent convalescent, I've been able to even think about picking up a brush again. I really do not like being sick. It's a waste of time. Okay, 
let's make sure I'm in camera for this. Okay, and I'll go ahead and apply that to the rest of the squad before hitting the next car. Okay, next up is uh, 09205 Black and Steel. It's still very much a mess right this minute. I'm recovering slowly, but uh, this is what it is. Everyone gets sick from time to time. Pretty much it for the steel. Chains, spikes, and blades. So, <clears throat> yeah. And then apply that to the rest of the troops and move on to the next. What the? What the? Okay, I'm knocking stuff around off camera. But next is, um, where is it? Aged Pewter 09196. <laughs> I'm at the stage where I can only do one color at a time, unfortunately, and that is what it is. So, uh, oh boy, I am still kind of dazed right now. Send out a little more, I think, and just get that on the moving parts of his Arcus. And yeah, that's it. So, apply to the rest of the squad and move on in a minute. Okay. Ancient Bronze 09049. since that's the part I most likely do accidentally nick I, as I paint. And I'm not as worried about nicking the um, teal here because that'll get taken care of when I Shade that.
clumsy with that last bit than I would like, but given how I'm feeling, I'm not going to beat myself up over it either. Getting each bit of that individually. Finishing up with the last little bit of the top there. <clears throat> okay, that leaves the teal, the flush tone, and the gray, I think. Okay, getting there. Okay, 09076 Deep Ocean. Where it gets trickier. Now, this uh, circular area is going to be a jewel by the time I'm done. The same thing with the uh, shapes on the pauldrons. This work gets a bit trickier. I knew when I shaded the gold, this would probably happen, but yeah, so. So it'll all be okay when I get it highlighted. I am getting better over this a little bug I've caught, but still got kind of a gravelly voice right this minute. Okay, that's done. Over on these uh, 
banners from the shoulder. A little bit more on the helmet here. And I just need to apply that to the rest of the squad. Oh, test. Okay, blood red zero nine zero zero three. You gotta love it when your camera and program uh, have a ten second delay before they actually record. And this is plugged up, so paper clip. Since you can't see too well on this guy because of the helmet, I'll go ahead and do a second model on camera. This is going to be our shade for flesh tone. Worked reasonably well on the car, so we'll. Try it again here. But then again, his car only had his uh, face, at least the lower part of it showing, so maybe it didn't work out as well as I thought, but never worry about experimenting. So, make the rest of them off camera and continue from there. Uh -oh. The white, 09039. Well, the, uh, well, that happened, the, uh, hmm. huh. somehow the uh, lid took off the, the nozzle. Hmm. Regardless, while the flesh tones, uh, shade dries, I can start on the gems. So, pure white to, uh, the base coat and then gauntlets, pauldrons, and I'm gonna do this. Uh, nah, you know what? I'll leave that as is. I think. Yeah, these guys are the elites. They have no shortage of a uh, quote bling. All right. Eh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do the uh, disc at the top of his helmet as a gem. Why not? Okay. Apply that to the rest. Move on one minute. All right. Last shade. Uh, dark elf. Sh well, to a certain extent, last shade. Dark elf shadow zero nine one six three. Because technically it's lighting effects after this, but it's uh, one of those technicality things, so. No. Great.
this some cloth I'll make certain to get the underside of the skirts here Don't mind any construction sounds you may hear. I've just got uh, new neighbors about to move in downstairs. Okay, and that's seeping to the grave there. Okay, so let that dry while I get the rest. Okay, pine green zero nine zero one zero. This is going to do the um, prep work for the jewels and it's plugged up too. It's about out, but there's plenty in there for what I need to do. I'm using a very thin brush, I'm just A line of green across, or the dark green across. Okay. All right, now I just need to apply to the rest of the squad. Okay, now take pure white zero nine zero three nine. And carefully dot in the pupils. Sounds a bit heavy. Or not the pupils, the uh, sclera. The white of the eyes. <laughs> Could have done this earlier, but I had to wait for uh, this to dry a little more first. Do the whole squad right here, real quick, to get that green a little more time to dry while I do this. Now that that's done, I can finish up the gems with pale green 09012. And this will be done as a wash again. That last shade is still drying, but I can do this while I wait. It's a bit much. to show through. I just need to apply to the rest of the squad. But it's coming along nicely so far. Come on, focus in. Get a little more focus, okay. All right, pure black 09037. Get the uh, pupils and then start highlighting. This isn't the last of the black ones, but so suffice for now. I was gonna. Take care of all of these in one fell swoop real quick. Now 
that's kind of odd, but it'll be okay. The scorn do kind of have sunken in noses. So my friend said it's if the scorn look like dried up bells, it's because they are. <laughs> Again, they came from the same area as the elves originated from in eastern Imran. And when the elves tried to bring their guns to the mortal world, they basically blew up eastern Imran. Uh, west, the scorn stayed behind and dominated in the incredibly harsh and dangerous environment. And taking a ratty brush like this one, rosy skin 09068. Go ahead and do a couple of these guys on camera before I do the rest off, just so you can see what the end result is since these officers' uh, head is behind a helm. Which again is just strange because the helm was a separate piece. I'm just arbitrarily pick this guy here. Again, rubbing out most of the paint on a paper towel I've got available. Yeah, that looks that looks like a nice semi-disturbing skin tone for a society of sadomasochists. So, it almost looks a bit like something out of Hellraiser, which would be very appropriate. So, um, hit the rest and then get the next up next. Dark Elf Highlight 09165. I don't know if I put his helmet on wrong when I clipped down there, but huh. no. Well, this isn't completely dry down here. That's um, disappointing, but I think I can work with it, so get the rest move on. All right. Surf Aqua 09078. get my paint to go back where I need it. Concerning myself mostly with the ready with the readily visible areas.
bit of straight paint around that gem here. Okay. Let that dry work on the rest while that happens. Tarnished brass, 09198. Ah, getting there. It's not too terribly much of this. Let's just take care of all the squad simultaneously here. Just a bit on their Arcus. Or is the Pluralvat Archai? Hmm. Yeah, good with that. Steel's going to be next. So true silver zero nine two zero seven. Okay, I'll get that applied to the rest of the squad now. Just about done with, with highlighting. Uh, new gold 09051. Okay, I'll just go ahead and get just the officer on camera and hit the rest off camera. Early, starting with these uh, discs on his back. I have to try to improve upon my method for doing these when I do these uh, cataphract and cindiari I have coming up. Not too bad for the first time I've ever uh, done something like this, but um, definitely room for improvement. So, back of the gauntlets. Trim down there and hit the rest. Just about done. Okay, blood red again, 09003. Get the last highlight finally. And a bit of a detail. These 
charge that belt, I'll go ahead and hit the whole unit real quick. Just cons concern myself with the most readily visible areas. Since after all, most of these troopers have their weapons in front of their belts and shoulders. I can't really see that last one I spelled at all. Not this guy's but Okay. Switching to a detail type brush. Abstracted scorn insignia in. Mm. Still got work to do on that, but I'm getting better every time I do. Now, deep red zero nine zero zero two, and I'll get the firework start on all of these guys. And just deliberately overextending. I will backfill later. Being careful to avoid the feet in a low hanging cloth. It's kind of unusual for heavy infantry in that this is a maximum size of six men. It's like a four six man unit. Most heavy infantry are three fives in terms of squad size. Just kind of an oddity, but it's fine. It is what it is. Quite frank frankly, it helps to give uh, more of a threat, even at lower point levels, to them. As having just that one extra soldier helps immeasurably. Last one. And once this is dried up, I can finish up the last few details, get the arc set, and then start the basing. Okay, time to define the arcs. This is a self healing cutting map put out by Privateer with the markings on it to do this. Okay, so I'm going to center the leader. I'll take care of the rest on camera, off camera, because this is going to take a while. Pure black 09037. First step, I carefully just define the old health got a little paint on the brush. Just define the edges here. This isn't that easy with a camera in the way, but that's about the only way I can do it to record it. 
just switch to a flat brush and tidy that up. Just like that. And I'll go ahead and get the rest of them dealt with. These guys numbered up. Pure white 09039. Fine brush. And this is going to be. I'll end up with up to two, possibly three. I have to double check the field allowance, but it's going to be unit one. Simple local numeral, model A, and randomly repeat for the remainder of the unit. One B, and this is not easy to do with a brush at all. Okay, now once that's dry, I can uh, get the basing on there and get these guys finished up. Okay. White glue, we're going to mix up a solution. So, diluting that with water, I've got my sand on hand here. Taking a beat up brush, I'm basically sacrificing for this. I have to refill my container of sand soon. And then carefully paint around the feet of the model. again style of base the privateer press uses has a convenient slot or no lip around it <sighs> it's been a long couple of weeks this helps keep the basic materials in the actually in on the base so it's done dip in the sand and taking the second brush it's dry we're just going to brush off when we don't want it yeah the, sh the boots on this guy are a little funky just basically little wedges but <laughs> Big solid wedge of armor. Made a bare spot, so we'll just dip a little bit there and uh, repeat for the rest. I need to let that sit for a bit before I can seal it, so I'll get the rest taken care of and back in a minute. All right, time to finish. Sprayer brush on adhesive. 
glass eyedropper. And then just carefully drop that around the base. You need to give this a, a chance to uh, set for a bit first, otherwise all this will do is make little holes. But once it's set, this will give the uh, material a rock hard finish and just solidify it on there. So I need to repeat for the rest of the squad, but that is it. Cataphract, Arcura, oh come on focus. Cataphract Arcurai from uh, the Scorn Faction of Hordes. And uh, I've got one, two, three, about five uh, Scorn things left to do. So and then I'll be switching gears to uh, another faction, another game. We'll see what happens when it happens. So until next time, I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, signing out.